If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you have probably seen me do product reviews in the past. One thing that I always talk about is I firmly believe that every record collector should put anti-static inner sleeves on all of their records, especially if they come in those paper sleeves. So today I'm going to do my first review of some anti-static inner sleeves coming right up. Hey, it's Russ from the Infectious Group Podcast and Vinyl Channel. If this is your first time with us, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And with videos like this, I definitely want to hear your opinion uh, on anti-static sleeves in general, or if you've used the brand that I'm going to talk about today, or if you have a preference of another brand, please make sure to leave a comment below. Love to have the interaction on the channel. Having said that, I have used just about every type of anti-static inner sleeve that I can think of uh, over the course of collecting records over the years. I have, uh, due to different budgetary concerns at the time, uh, if I was doing uh, more well-off than not, I would just go what uh, many consider right to the mountaintop and order uh, mobile fidelity sleeves, uh, which are fantastic inner sleeves, uh, but for many people uh, seem a little pricey for what you get and um, a lot of people like them because they have a little bit of reinforcement in them they're anti-static on both sides but the big drawback that I always hear from anybody uh, myself included uh, again whenever the budget is up and down over the years uh, is the pricing is uh, the pricing is a, a little bit more expensive than other people seem to be able to put out uh, uh, similar products what when I've uh, had some uh, higher budgetary concerns over the years. I've gone with what I feel is the, the bare minimum. I've ordered products like this off of uh, Amazon or, or wherever I came across them on the internet. Uh, you notice they're a little bit thinner than the Mobile Fidelity. They certainly don't have like the extra backing, um, but they get the job done. They at least are far superior to having your LPs in the uh, uh, in, uh, the uh, paper inner sleeves that come in most uh, LPs and you're not causing uh, scratches. You're helping keep static down uh, due to the anti-static nature of them. So over the years, I've always been looking for what I would call a happy medium. Um, something maybe that has uh, at least the quality or near the quality of mobile fidelity uh, without the higher pricing. And uh, I was perusing Facebook recently saw an ad for these right here <clears throat> which are uh, from a newer company called collector protector and um reached out to the company and said hey i'm a big proponent of anti-static inner sleeves uh, i review some products on my channel from time and again you know can i get a batch of those so i can uh, review them on the channel one disclaimer very quickly i want to say that the folks at uh, collector protector sent these right out with absolutely no question on uh can we approve the video first can we see the video first you know what are you going to say what are you going to compare it to none of that they said sure we'll send you out a batch and they sent me this here uh 50 pack which i've had a chance to look around at and see uh, how i feel against these other ones that i've just shown you that i've used over the years now a couple of things about the pricing of the product i will say that the pricing of this product is quite a bit lower than uh, the, the big brand that I was talking about before. And when that happens, my first concern is always, okay, it might look the part, but it's the quality there. And um, as far as pricing goes, the best place you can find these is going to be on Amazon. Uh, the current pricing as of the shooting of this video is $24.99 for a 100 pack, which is quite a bit less expensive than you see in other brands. Um, I do know that they run promos now and again um, that expire off and on throughout the year like many companies do, so maybe keep an eye out for that. But even at what I would consider full face value, uh, I still think it's a great deal for the price. Uh, I will leave a, a link in the description below. It's an um, affiliate link for Amazon, so if you go and click on that link to purchase any of these, uh, the channel will get a little bit of a kickback. We we'll want to make that clear. Um, but again, nothing about this is an endorsement. This isn't anything that I've been paid to say. Um, and the folks at Collector Protector are going to see this video at the exact same time you are. So having said that, I first thing I wanted to do was look at these sleeves and see, like I said, they look the part, but do they feel, have the same uh, feel and um, what I feel would be long-term dependability as far as uh, against mobile fidelity. 
and I would say it's about uh, I'm 80 20 on these they seem uh, they look exactly the same as uh, the, the more expensive ones and they are um, just they feel just a tad thinner than those but one thing that is a huge difference between these and what I was showing you with the ones that don't have like the backing is it does have more of a firm feel to it it has that um, more uh, protective sleeve feel to it than uh, some of the way, way, way less expensive ones that I've used over the years. So for me, as much as record collecting keeps going up in price with acquiring the actual records and my firm belief for years and years and years that you absolutely should use anti-static inner sleeves um, to protect these records that only keep going up in price, uh, I think what they've done here is put out a fantastic product for uh, quite a bit less expensive than you see from the biggest name out there. Uh, I believe that if you were to print that uh, uh, bigger brand's name on this sleeve like they have on theirs, that I probably wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. I shouldn't, certainly wouldn't be able to tell you the difference in a real world scenario if I was going to sit here and you know, try and pick one out almost like a blind taste test type thing, I could probably uh, pick out the difference between them. Uh, but in a real world scenario where I'm going to sleeve up records, I actually have some new LPs that I need to sleeve up because they came with uh, paper sleeves, which if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you know I hate with a passion. So I'm going to use this pack on those and I have uh, every confidence that they will work just fine. So. For me, I'd like to say I appreciate the folks at Collector Pro Protectors sending out this batch to me. Uh, I'm as happy with them as I uh, thought I would be. I would instantly turn around and start using this brand, uh, especially where the um, cost to value ratio is concerned. Like I said at the top of the video, uh, what are your thoughts on anti-static sleeves in general? Uh, this brand, have you, uh, have you yourself used this brand? Uh, are you going to stick with the big name no matter what? Are the th even thinner ones uh, that are less expensive uh, just fine for you? For me, the big deal on this channel is interaction. I love to hear from other record collectors. Uh, let me know if you order up some of these. Let me know your thoughts on them. Again, the link will be in the description if you want to use our affiliate link for it. Uh, they'll get some sleeves out to you and I'd love to hear what you think of them as well. No matter what, if this is your first time on the channel, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button, uh, maybe drop us a like on the video. All of those things help the channel grow more so we can maybe bring you some more uh, product reviews in the future. But no matter what, I always say I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Bye.